Forward-looking and sleek, this house is one which South African entrepreneur Damien Michael and his German wife Marisa have been planning for three years. Most young families would find it intimidating to not just move cities, but also build a brand new home from scratch. But Damien and Marisa took all of this in their stride. Ah, there you are, hello. Parents to young Milu, the couple are problem solvers. She's a qualified engineer. He finds IT solutions, and their challenge here was a relatively small stand for a large house. The only way to go was up. David, how prescriptive were you and Marisa when it came to designing the home? We wanted a large living space. We also wanted a big, beautiful room for our daughter so she could play around and you know mess around with things. Also, we wanted to have a nice big kitchen because Marissa loves cooking, as well as a lounge that opens up onto the patio for summer so we could have some you know, bubbly cheese and wine and just live out on the patio in summer. And those were the requirements that we gave to the architect. This is the first home that the two of you have built together. So which elements were absolute non-negotiables when it came to putting this all together? The actual entrance hall, more particularly the staircase, we wanted a beautiful steel and glass staircase. So when you walk through the door, you have this grandeur entrance of steel and glass. We wanted to bring out that element. It, it had to be a focal point, something that's gonna be a wow factor. Which elements would you say have really injected your personality into the home? We wanted to create something that's colorful, something that's bold when you walk in, you could get the look and feel of the home. Uh, the old grandpa chair was something that I had for years from my granddad, and we wanted to renovate it, and we've taken it to Casamenta and given them the brief. And it brings up the nice color and the boldness of the house, but also reflects our personality, and that's what I wanted to bring out. As avid sports fans, the lounge is their favorite place to entertain their many friends for big games. Though guests often find themselves distracted by the cooking. Marisa, I can see how you've planned that the kitchen really is the hub of the whole entertainment zone. We really love entertaining people. I love cooking for people. So we wanted the kitchen to be part of the living space. And we found that people always end up standing around me while I'm cooking in the kitchen. So it needed to be a, a big kitchen where we have space for everyone. It's also quite a decluttered minimalist kitchen. Yes, so we still wanted to keep the idea of the modern home with the clean lines and everything. So you can't see what is going on in here but um, I've got everything at my fingertips. There's cupboard space underneath and there's an oven and a microwave behind me so I don't have to move around a lot. Everything is here. <laughs> I can tell that you've got a real passion for food. Where does that come from? I grew up with a grandma and a mother that loved cooking and always experimented with different food, you know. So I also grew into that. Well, I can't wait to actually taste the fruit of this wonderful kitchen. I've actually prepared something for us, but you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. It's almost done. Okay, well, while I'm exercising my patience, I'll go and have a chat to the architect. Gentlemen, perfect timing, because as you can smell, there's a wonderful lunch being prepared, but I'm going to make you work to earn your plates first. <laughs> Michele, you firstly. You were responsible for all the furniture in the home. Damien has selected a lot of imported furniture. Uh, we have different companies, so he could choose between the different companies that we represent. We brought more uh, vibrant color in the house. So after the selection of gray and white as a basic color, we decided to bring more warmth through the wood tone and some color like, for example, the red that you can see in the chair or in the bar stools. The imported standing lamps are renowned designs in homes across Europe, and striking pendants lend a powerful signature style, which doesn't compete with Mdinguanyati's architecture. Ndegwa, being the architect on this project, I'm sure you've got lots of experience with working with two totally different personalities, but did the couple come to you with a clear idea of what they wanted? Damien is, a, is quite the modern guy. He loves clean things, modern stuff, drives the latest cars, and so on. Marisa, on the other hand, is an engineer, and so there was always a difference of opinion in terms of what they each wanted in the home. But I think what they were clear about is they wanted a space that was open, that was modern, uh, that uh, represented that they were a young couple and they wanted to display that with their home. The owners invested their faith in this talented architect who studied in Bulawayo and now does vast public service projects in KwaZulu-Natal. 
His residential work shows he's just as adept at the demands of modern homeowners. Ningo, as the architect of the house, which would you say is the most successful design element you've incorporated? I think to point out the views that you get from the master bedroom um, of Table Mountain are absolutely splendid, especially at night. You get uh, a view of the city ball, you get Table Mountain. And then, you know, from the onset, we wanted to take advantage of the natural lighting um, in the house. And if you look at the atrium that we're standing in at the moment, you get a clear story and then you get natural lighting washing down from the first floor right down to the, to the ground floor. And that makes it nice, uh, light and airy. And it's a really beautiful space to be in. And I think that is the most uh, inspiring part of the house for me. Five-year-old Milu has the freedom of the house Though the artistic little princess loves few things more than retreating to her pink fairy tale power, filling in her coloring books and working on her ballet moves. This fantasy bedroom is popular with her friends too. You've definitely maximized your use of space. In fact, you've also created a private seating area over there. You could say that, Johan, but that wasn't the intention from the onset. I think what we wanted to do with that space in my mind was to create like a decorative, like a, a frame. If you look at that window frame and uh, from the street, you could actually have something to look at. Um, unfortunately, what we had to do was to create access for it. But uh, obviously the client decided to, to use that door as a balcony for himself, which has turned out quite well. Damien, Ndingwa and Michaela went through a lot of coffee debating final choices. And if there was any chance of a meal cooked by Marisa, the guys could have happily kept the debate going. Thank you everyone for sharing this meal with us. Let me just tell you what it is. There's some Italian antipasti with Michaela. There's some uh, burgundy beef with olives and then the German version of pasta, which is spätzle. Marisa, Milu and Damien, thank you so much for having us all over here. And I think if I look at this wonderful international menu, that's what being South African is all about. All these different cultures blending into making one Mzansi. So cheers to that. Cheers. cheers. Gentlemen, cheers. you've earned your meal. <laughs> if these French or South German dishes catch your fancy, Marisa is launching a blog about cooking for the modern woman. Catch our website for details.